today I thought I'd share with you what I bought when I went shopping after Christmas. I'm not going to say what I bought in the sales because to be honest a lot of it wasn't in the sale. And I just bought it because I wanted it. So I thought I'd start with the first things I bought. And this was when I went to Boundary Mill just a couple of days after Christmas. If you don't know, Boundary Mill is a factory outlet store. And um, it's like the, the head office and the big main store is just the couple of towns where I used to work in it. But anyway, I managed to get all of these Yankee Candle bits and pieces for £23. I'll share them with you, don't worry, so you can see what I got. Start off with, I got a pack of three Macintosh card jars. I love the smell of these. I don't know what it is, but it just smells amazing. I mean, I guess it's a bit apple -y, but not quite apple. It smells amazing. And I had to stock up for my car because she needs to smell that gorgeous all the time. I also picked up some of the wax tarts and I got kitchen spice. And it just smells of spice. It's like cinnamon in there. I don't know what else. I can smell cinnamon. Probably orange as well. And cloves. But they're really lovely. These were 62 pence each. 62 pence. You got to love a sale. Yeah, I got four of those by the way. I went a bit OTT. Next are some of the little... I think it's the sample, what do they call them? Sampler candles. I'm not sure. But I got honey and spice, warm spice and salted caramel. This smells really sweet. But I've been told it's really, really good when it's burning. And these were 90 pence each. 90 pence. So I had to get a few. I also got another sparkling cinnamon jar tumbler. I already, I bought two of these. Sorry, I bought two of these back in about September. They're just like four pound ninety seven each in the sale. Same again this time. So I, they only had the one on the shelf, so I had to buy it. And if I go back before the sale's over, I'll probably stock up on some more. So this just smells amazing, and I'll burn it all the way year through, all the way year through, all the way through the year. That's the way you say it, isn't it? I also got a red apple wreath in the little small jar. This doesn't smell as strong as Macintosh with the scent of apples, but I think it'll just be lovely when it's burning. And I think about, I think this was about £4.19 or £5.19, I'm not sure which. But it was reduced and I bought it. Simple, really. Oh, almost dropped one and lost one. Next up, I got this jar cranberry ice. This was £8.50. £8.50 for a medium sized jar. And it smells really... It smells quite sweet, but I think when it's burning it won't be as sweet smelling. So for £8.50 I thought I'd give it a go, because everywhere I've been and seen it, I've picked it up and smelled it. Now, as you can imagine, they were all pretty cheap anyway. But then, 10% off. Yes, that's how I got it down to £23, because if you've been doing the maths as we go along, it weren't £23. Okay, we're £23, £20 and all, but you know what I mean. Oh yeah, these are about two fifty three quid. So that's my Yankee Candle haul from Boundary Mill. When I was also at Boundary Mill, I picked up this perfume, which is Nina Benny Narici. Now, this was £25, not... Sorry, my phone again. This was £25. That's the sale price they sell it at. That's just their, that's just their normal price in Boundary But I still got a 10% off, so it's £22.50 for 50ml. Yeah, for 50ml. So I thought that wasn't bad going. Especially seeing as I couldn't get hold of the my favourite perfume. I could have done if I'd have bought it online, but that was too much hassle. So, yeah, I like it. It smells really good. It doesn't smell apple-y. We'll just spray it on. Oh, swallowed all the alcohol. Good start to the video. But it smells really good. And then, so I bought those when I went to Boundary a couple of days after Christmas. Then just after New Year, I went to the Trafford Centre with my sister. Where I spent a fortune. This top that you can just about see, it's a bit bat-wingy. Not really, now it's been the last. I got this from Primark for £6. It's dip hem as well. 
And it's just really comfy and cosy. And I like it. And I'm doing a jig over that one there. Right, I went to Boots. Because, you know, standard. I was looking at the Christmas gift sets and I wanted some soap and glory. But they didn't have any. So I didn't get any of their gift sets. Because they sold out online, sold out in store. What can I do? But I did pick up myself a Tangle teaser. I got a compact one. I got the compact one because apparently that's better for short hair than the slightly bigger one because it is just smaller and you know, you've got less hair to brush so you want a brush that you're actually brushing through not like, oop, out the hair again. You know what I mean. It's cute. That was about £12.50, not in the sale. Then I also picked up the Charles Worthington Volume and, ba no, Volume and Bounce Texturising Spray. I saw this on Anna from Viviana Does Makeup's blog. And she was comparing it to the, oh, what was she comparing it to? She was comparing it to some of the more expensive texturizers, so like the Aribe, and I think even Bum Bum Bumble Spray. And this cost me about £4.59, it had about a third off. So I thought I'd give it a try while it's cheap. I haven't used it yet. So I'm waiting until I get my hair cut, because at the moment I'm just pinning it up like this. So I'm waiting until I get my hair cut and then I'm trying this out. Hopefully it'll be a good one. And then when I was in Tesco, I picked up the collector, co collecting, the collection longer lash mascara. It says lengthen your lashes, added fibres for an ultra lengthening effect. It doesn't say it in that voice, I'm not sure why I did. But it was £3. Don't know if that's its normal price or if it was on offer because the stand was too understandable, ununderstandable. I couldn't understand the stand. There was stickers for sale stuff all over the place. So I was just like, oh I have that, it cost me £3, I know that much because it was on my receipt. But that's full price and I don't know. They need to make the stand clearer during the sale. Next! Next, next, next. Oh shit, I'm locking stuff in for that. We won't swear in the video either. The next thing I have for you is a little book haul. The first one is It Happened in Venice by Molly Hopkins. I picked this up in Morrison's for £2 the other day after work, so not when I went shopping. But um, I read the first one, What Happens in Paris, or What Happened in Paris, it's something like that. And that was really good, so I thought I'd get the second one. It's quite an, it's a light, easy read, but it's enjoyable, so I picked that up. The rest of these books that I've got in my black, I bought in Waterstones. Now the first one is Grim Tales, Feeling an Old, by Philip Pullman. Let's have a look. It's sort of like a retelling of the Grimm Brothers fairy tale. So we've got Rapunzel, Hansel and Gretel, Cinderella, and a bunch of others. Like the Goose Girl, I'm sure I've read that. Hands my head like little red riding hoods in here, look. So that I actually I saw this and thought, oh, Han Hannah, again, Hannah from the last video, Hannah from Balloon Catch. I thought, oh, she, she'll like that. And then I was like, but I want that. So I bought us both a copy, simple, done, dusted. So hopefully she'll enjoy it, hopefully I'll enjoy it, and it'll have been a good buy. But I've not started it yet. I've not started it yet, I've got so many books. I've not started any of these, I'm showing you, actually. I was going to start one of them the other night and then didn't. But that's second book. The next are all classics, and they're all Penguin classics that have been rejacketed. So they're really cute. So we've got The House of Mirth, which sounds amazing. Then The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. Hannah recommended this. Hannah recommended this to me when we were in Waterstone, so I went shopping with Hannah as well. I do a lot of shopping. And then Tess of the Herbivals. And as you can see, they're on two for £10. So I got these two when I went shopping with Hannah. When I went shopping the other day, I picked this one up and I also got Pie and Prejudice, the new jacketed one for Hannah, because I know she loves Jane Austen and I just thought, oh, it's got a new jacket, that'll be cute. They have one that's hardbacked with a fabric cover and I really wanted to buy that for her, but I'd started spending too much, so I didn't. But yeah, that's my little book haul. And um, if you check, I've posted a review of another blog. No, I've posted a review of a different book on my blog, but I'm hoping to review more books. As you remember, I was going to do the 52 books in a year challenge that I set myself. Not quite sure I'm going to manage that, but 
maybe we can try and do 52 in this year, like in 2014, rather than in the academic year, because I have so little time to read for pleasure. I didn't realise just how much work I would have to do for my college course. And I'm definitely not going to get around to 52 films either. So I might just take those down, those videos. Yes, that's a good idea, isn't it? Next up, we've got films. Funnily enough, we're on to DVDs. So, let's start with the ones I picked up in Tesco when I went food shopping. We've got John Richardson. Funny my it was funny. Me and my sister both laughed at it. Then we've got Dora O'Brien, Crack Dealer. That was funny. Me and my sister enjoyed the half we watched together. And my friend enjoyed the other half I watched with her. And she doesn't like Dora O'Brien, so that's good going. Yeah, these are £3 each in Tesco. So I picked those up because I can't resist at £3. Then we also have Josh Widdicombe. Love. I picked this up in HMV in the Christmas sales. Because this was about five and then they had 10% off, so it was £4.50. Which is cheap enough for me to... Stop wiggling stuff. Which is cheap enough for me to want to buy it. I apologise, I'm a bit hyper excited today and I don't know what's going on with me. So I got that. Then, I got four Disney films. These were all... No. This was 2 99 with 10% off. These were all 6 99 with 10% off. So we got Cinderella, Mulan, Pocahontas, and then a book slide. Bargains, had to buy them, couldn't leave them behind. I think you'll agree. I also bought Jesus Christ, Superstar. I'll stop singing. This was about 7 99 and then had the 10% off, so I wanted to watch it. And this is the one with Tim Minchin in and Mel C and Chris Miles. So I'm going to watch that at some point. Hopefully it's good. Fingers crossed for me. Or just tell me the love it is any good. Then I also bought Seasons 4 and Season 6 of Supernatural. Yay! I still remember in the What I Got for Christmas video. I got Season 5 and Season 7 for Christmas. I've also just ordered Season 8 because it was £15 on Amazon. Now, it's probably gone back up to £25 by the time I upload this. But if it's not, if it's still near £15, like under £20, I'll link it below for you. Just, you know, take you straight there, get buying it. But at £15, I could not leave that behind. But yeah, so I finished Season 4. I am now on to Season 5. Exciting. So maybe I should watch that while I'm blogging. You can't really watch and blog at the same time, can you? But yeah, that's pretty much everything I got when I went shopping. I can't think of anything else. Because so I've tried to avoid using the stuff I bought so that I could just show it in a video. So they like the candles and stuff. And it looks like my Christmas tree candle is just burnt out, so I'm going to get light and salted, salted caramel. Now, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you got in the sales, if you got any fantastic buys. Or if you got any of the soap and glory sets from Boots, because I'm so jealous if you did. But, um, yeah, if you've got any book suggestions that you think I should read, or tell me if any of the books I bought are any good. Uh, if, yeah, just tell me anything. I like your comments. But also, don't forget to subscribe, so you can see more videos. And hopefully I won't be quite as hyper. I don't know what's going on, but anyway. I'll see you at some point. Bye!